So welcome back to another episode of the FIFA 15 Manchester United career mode. Thanks to everyone who tuned into episode 1. It's nice to play some old FIFA games, man, I tell you. And you have a better experience as well. It's not like you're playing a worse experience. You actually have a more fun. Now today we've got a bit of maintenance to do. I've taken a look at some of your comments, your transfer suggestions and stuff. And I've come up with this short list based on your feedback. We're going to talk about that a little bit later on. In today's episode, we're going to be playing against Burnley. The transfer deadline day approaches and also the game against Birmingham City in the Capital One Cup. So a bit of action today. Hopefully we do well. If you do enjoy today's video, please leave a like and make sure you subscribe as well. It's completely free and you get tons of value, so please do so. And if you're looking to get some of the best real-life FIFA Ultimate Team cards, check out the link in the description and use my code VAPEX for 15% off. Alright, so let's talk about the transfers. So our finances, they're not bad, but they're not great. We've only got about 30-something million to play with. That's what happens when the Glazers are your boss. So... We've got 36 million, give or take. And keep in mind, you know, some players that you guys have suggested are pretty expensive. Let me just go to the shortlist. We've got players like Varane, which I think is affordable actually at 7 million. But then we've got PK. There's also Pogba. I think a few of you guys wanted to see Pogba. Marco Royce, it's a little bit out of our budget. Ibrahimovic, a little bit, you know, pushing the budget. And then Ronaldo, which basically blows the whole budget. We need to sell like Rooney, Di Maria, all that to cover this expense. I don't think we can do that deal at the moment. But I think a signing we can make is Rafael Varane. I know he's a popular signing from back in the day, but that's because he's cheap and he's very good at the back. So I think we'll go ahead with that. Of course, it says 7 million there, but they want double that. We're going to go in maybe starting at 11 or 12 million. We'll start with 11 and we'll see what they say. I know the director says 15. Now, FIFA 15 had that inquire feature, which was good. And PK, they want 45 million. Ronaldo, not for sale. And Ibrahimovic, 51 million. So forget about that. Now, I've also got Phil Jones on the sell list. I think uh, I have to actually check that before we lose it. I think we lost it. Let me go to the transfer thing. Actually, there's archives, sorry. Message archives. We do have a transfer offer. Can we open it? No, I can't from here. So I have to go maybe to this tab here, transfer negotiations. Uh, I think the, the, the thing went, oh, no, the club pulled out. Damn it. I shouldn't have. Oh, no, that's not good. I shouldn't have simmed a couple days in advance, but we'll put Phil Jones on the transfer list anyway. So Pogba, they want 66 million. What a joke. Oh my goodness. Now he's valued at 66 million. Jeez. See what our Inquirer feature does. All right, so Johnny Evans was relieved. He says, boss, I can't lie. I was worried that you had plans to replace me. I know now it was all the media speculation that gave me a case of paranoia. No, I just actually forgot about you, buddy. All right, so Real Madrid have accepted the 11 million for Varane, which I think is a good price. Uh, we'll give him some 15% bonus there. Four years. We're going to make him an important man. We'll give him important. And I think that's it. 80 grand. Let's see what he says. We actually got him for a steal because the inquire features are 16.5. We only paid 11. And Marco Roy, 77 million. What a joke, man. So you can see the valuations have pretty much doubled there. Look at this. Oh, man. These are not the numbers that we started the episode on. Now, one player I was looking at because he came up on the scouting thing was Paolo Dybala. Remember when he was supposed to come to United, but then he didn't want to come or something a couple seasons ago? This guy could be a good signing. I don't know how much he is. I guess we can um, maybe approach Palermo to buy. We need some sort of backup striker that has a bit of pace. And I think Dybala could be our guy here. The problem is I'm going to be going in blind. I don't really want to go in blind, actually. Because I know I'm going to overpay. We'll just do the inquire feature. We'll see what they say. There's also other options like Paulson and stuff. Uh, Abamyang as well. There's a lot of players here. Loic Remy, all that kind of stuff. So we'll see what happens. I definitely want to acquire a backup striker and also Varane. In terms of the midfield, we do have a couple midfielders. I'm not really worried about that at the moment. The problem is we don't have much in reserves. That's the problem. All right, so Palermo want 18.5. For Dybala, we could go cheaper. Real Madrid have accepted the offer. All right, so I think Varane has accepted the offer. We just have to go to the contract. All right, so they've reviewed the offer and they accept our conditions. Please feel free to enter into negotiations with the player. All right, so they want 18.5 million for Dybala. Maybe we can go in with 14. They might accept that. And apparently I have to make another offer here to Varane. I thought we already did, but anyway... I'll submit that again. For some reason, the game's not working. I mean, I've got this bug where everything is like full screen and I don't know how to fix it because we're playing on a on a PlayStation 5. So there's bugs everywhere, man. All right, so the first game today is against Burnley. And if you take a look at the table there, we're on uh, six points after two games. So the perfect record so far. Chelsea already played four games. And let's see how we go here. We're going to be playing on Legendary. I've got a few sliders on Legendary. Hopefully that makes the game uh, a bit more equal. We're going to keep the same lineup as the last game. No need to really change much. 
and we'll just get into it. So here we go, Burnley versus Manchester United at Turf Moor. And this is going to be an interesting one because we are on that legendary difficulty. And there's a couple of players ready to join the squad. Varane, I think he's uh, getting his passport ready. <laughs> he could be here by the end of the episode. Maybe even, uh, what's his name, Paulo Dybala. Maybe even Dybala. Just got to be careful here. We've got Fellaini. No need to worry. Fellaini is the next Ronaldinho in this save. And that is a nice little uh, chip there, but unfortunately not nice enough. And of course I had to do something stupid. And, oh, just misses there. Marnie. Dean Marnie, that's that guy, Dean Marnie, Viz's favourite guy. <laughs> I just said it so casually, I just said Marnie, and I'm like, oh, that's the Dean Marnie guy. And uh, here we go. Clear it with Valencia. Oh, my goodness. Oh, how did he miss? Seriously. It's a loose pass, but they get it back. Burnley playing like prime Barcelona so far. Nice work. Got to watch that pass. In the middle. Oh, my goodness. I thought it was going to be a penalty. And we block it. The rebound. Watch the rebound. Oh, my goodness. There's seven of us there, and we recover. And here we go. A bit of a county here. Di Maria taking it down the right. Where's he going to go? No one knows. He's going to play it back. Here's Herrera. We've got Mata down the left. And oh, Mata runs straight into him. It's going to be a foul. Come on, man. And here we go. Burnley right before half time. Smalling with great defense there. And here we go. Foul cow. One more chance before the half ends. Di Maria bringing it forward. They're catching up to him. I mean, everyone's got 90 pace on this difficulty. Where are we going to go? Rooney. Fellaini. First time hit. Oh, he had the, he had the distance, but not enough power, I think. And that's going to be half time. Bit of a cracking first half. Burnley doing well, you know. Here we go. Four of us back there. They can't score, surely. Oh, no. Oh, how did he miss again? But this is a huge opportunity. 20 yards out. 20 yards out and a free kick in the 86th minute. We can definitely score from here with Wayne Rooney. He's got great stats. It's all about just getting it right. Oh, man, this is so nerve-wracking. Rooney. Can he score? Wayne Rooney. Oh, it's taken a deflection. Maybe a bit more power would have done it. We needed that one to go in to pick up the points. There's still a bit of time. Foul count. Oh, ref. Free kick again. It's going to be another free kick. Oh, my goodness. We need to score this one. Foul count stepped up this time. And we're still going to give it to Ashley Young. Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm going to give it to Ashley Young. He's got, he has, he's got decent stats. Let's see what he can do. Ashley Young. Can he score for Manchester United? Ashley Young. Oh, my goodness. He hits it straight at the keeper. Sorry if your headphones are broken. We're going to float it in. I'm not doing that risky one. We're going to float it in. Valencia. Falcao was there. Oh, it's going to be full time. We had a couple chances towards the last couple of minutes, but Burnley have held on. It's going to be nil all. Well, Burnley didn't have a shot on target, so we kept them out. The problem is they had a lot of possession, and we just sort of had half chances. Well, Varane has accepted the offer, which means we will be signing some players on transfer deadline day. Varane, welcome to Manchester United. It's going to be good at the back. And there's also something to do with Palermo. They want 19 million for Dybala now. We'll go up to 17. See what they say. I really need a, another striker. All right, so Palermo have accepted 17.5 for Dybala. He wants a big wage, so we're going to make that happen. 60K for four years. And we'll give him... We'll have, we have to give him crucial because he probably won't come. Welcome to Manchester United, Paulo Dybala. Two signings today, and we've got 8 million left. I'm probably going to keep that for the January transfer window. It's always good to have a bit of cash left over. I mean, we could have went for another midfielder, but I think we can make do with what we've got for a couple of months. We do have a couple players in the midfield. Just waiting to see if an offer for Jones comes through, which it has. And maybe we can get 9 million. I think I can get about 9 million for Jones. I'll be happy with that. Otherwise, I'll just keep him until January. So Southampton want to offer eight. Maybe we can push for 8.5. Southampton still won't budge. I really don't know what to do. I mean, if we sell him, we don't really have time to bring in another player until January. I think I'm going to keep him for a couple of months because I don't think we have time to bring in a proper midfielder the way I want him. So we'll keep him for January's window. Then I'll sell him in January and then we can go for a midfielder there. So there's an offer for Johnny Evans as well. Ah, oh, this is tough. What do we do? I don't want I can't sell two center backs. We have to consider that we're going to have like a... FA Cup games and stuff, midweek games, so we need a bit of rotation players. I think we'll have to keep what we've got now to see how the rotation's going to work. We probably could have done with a player like Pogba and stuff, but what can you do? He was too expensive, and uh, 
It is what it is, man. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose them. But anyway, we've got a Capital One Cup game. I'm not really happy with Luke Shaw, actually. I might bring in Raphael. Can he play left back? Well, he's going to have to learn now because we're going to keep him there. Luke Shaw has been a little bit dodgy. He's not ready for prime time yet. We've got Dybala up front starting. He's going to make his debut. I'm also going to put Ashley Young instead of Mata because Mata, I don't know, he takes his heavy touches and he loses the ball. All right, so another rainy day here at Ivy Lane. Birmingham versus Man United. On paper, we should smash these guys, but of course, this game could have other plans. We've got Dybala playing for Manchester United now, which is exciting stuff. Hopefully, there's an injection of pace and some nice goals, but we'll see how he goes. I think Varane's also playing today. Yeah, we've got Varane at the back making his debut as well. The 11 million bargain signing. He's going to play through the gap. Here's Di Maria. Lay it off to Ashley Young. Dybala is in the gap here. Where are we going to go, ref? There's a bit of a foul there. He's already attracted a foul. That's good stuff. Well, we needed Rooney to score the free kick from the other game, but maybe he could put it in the back of the net. Maybe Dybala could have a hit with the left foot. We might give it to Dybala. Nah, that's a bit hard to curl it. All right, so we're going to give this one to Rooney, see how he goes. Rooney, oh, he hits the top of the head. Probably was going in. All right, I see a guy right at the back there. We're going to pass it all the way back there. Raphael's going to lay it off to Fellaini. Fellaini's going to have a hit. And, of course, hits it over the bar. Bit of pace on him, look at this. Very confident player. Paulo Dybala chips it across for Rooney, and Rooney doesn't even jump. He, he dives like a dolphin dive from Black Ops. Smalling does well. Smalling's playing well. Small Dini, mate. Small Dini. Good opportunity here for Birmingham. They're going to lay it off. They're going to do something from the training ground here. Is it going to work for him? Of course it's going to work. It's a legendary difficulty. Okay, that one didn't work for him. And now Rooney is going to play it up to Dybala. Can we get his legs going? Dybala lays it off. Oh, what a touch. He's going to get it again. Paulo Dybala with the shot. Oh my goodness, he almost scores. He had to let it go quick because they were closing him down. But what a fantastic debut so far from the youngster. What's exciting about Dybala is that he finally brings pace up front. We needed that pace injection up front. You can see the difference. And he's got the skills as well. Herrera plays it through the gap. Di Maria. Rooney. He's going to have a hit. Dybala first time. Oh, he got too excited. All right, so 45 minutes left. We need to score. We, we can't score in this difficulty. But we've had a couple chances today. Just nothing in the back of the net yet. Here's Raphael. He's going to go himself here. Oh, my goodness. Raphael with the cross. Oh, what do we have to do, man? What do we have to do? Rooney picks it up, and it's not going to fall to us, of course. So good chance here for Birmingham. They could score from the corner, but we do have some good defense. And we clear it. It's not over yet. Rooney can't get there. Fellaini can't get there. They take a shot, and luckily they don't know how to shoot. Nice work by Raphael. And Dybala is through on goal. Run, son. Run, son. Dybala. Oh, come on. This is BS, man. Come on. No foul. Nothing stupid. No penalties. They cross a back post. Oh, my goodness. It's not over yet. Oh, good work, Herrera. Great defending. If you get that wrong, that's a penalty. And now it's three on two. You can't stuff this up. Di Maria, somehow we've stuffed it up. Somehow we've stuffed it up. And Varane does well. That's why I bought him. And he's going to go on a run. Look at this. How are the defenders quicker than strikers in this game? How are they quicker than strikers? Varane is going to go himself. Rafael Varane. Oh, my goodness. He almost scored. Dyer crosses it in. And the header. Oh, my goodness. They almost stole it. So here we go. They could actually steal it here. They could actually steal it. Keeper hasn't come out Fellaini. Oh, you love to see Fellaini there. He gives you that sense of security, mate. Rooney. And the ref's going to blow. Is it added time? Is it a repeat? I think there's added time. Or is it penalties? No, it's resume match. So we're going into extra time here. And uh, we need to probably make some changes. So we'll bring in Janazai. Actually, we'll bring in Mata. We'll bring in Mata. Rooney will come in at Cam. And then we'll bring in uh, Falcao up front there. Ashley Young. Raphael. We've got the pass almost. Ashley Young again. He's going to play through. To Dybala, who has a shot with the right foot, and he can't execute it properly. He's been good today, but could have scored there. Here's Falcao bringing it forward with whatever pace he has, and he plays it straight to Dybala, who could be through on goal. Paulo Dybala, he's run out of pace. Oh, what a terrible shot. I've hyped him up the whole game, and he finishes like a Sunday league striker. Come on, Fellaini. He wins the header. Dybala lays it off. Falcao could be through on goal here. Oh, he's used his hand. Oh, no. I think he used his hand, but why, why did he blow for half time right there? Are you serious? 
And now there's a chance to attack here. Rooney bringing it forward. It's three against two again. Do not stuff this up. Dybala is going down the left. Does he have enough pace? Look how they catch up to you. Look how they catch up to you. This is a joke. Rooney. Where are we going to go? Play it to Mata. One Mata. Oh, no, no. No strength on the shot, literally. Fellaini. There's a chance here. Rooney. Where are you going, son? Where are you passing it to? They go over the top. Birmingham really going for it. We've got the ball back. And now Falcao. Run. Ah, oh, they're so quick. They're so quick. We've got an injury. One Mata. He's going to have a hit. Mata. Ah, oh, straight at the keeper. There was no use trying to run because they would have caught up to us. And we're going into penalties. So here we go. Penalty shootout. Oh, man, this is nerve-wracking. We're going to go right. De Gea, what are you doing? Oh, no. He went down the middle anyway. <laughs> What are you going to do? Oh, no. I forgot how to do these penalties, Falcao. Don't stuff this up. All right. Nice. We don't have that indicator, that circle thing. Here's Fabrini. Where's he going to go? Going to go left. He's going to go chipping. And that is not a good penalty at all. I don't know why they do that, man. Rooney. The left has been good so far. And there we go. Left again. Just keep going the same way until the keeper figures out that you keep going the same way. And then you change it up. Oh, he hits the post. It looks like we're going through Dybala. Good debut, but I feel like he's going to miss this penalty. No, nope. see, so just keep going the same way over and over. The keeper just dives the wrong way all the time. And Teshi is up next. And he hits the bar, and it's all over. We are through to the next round. Oh, boy, we had to work hard for that. We had a lot of chances, but Birmingham, because it's legendary difficulty, they're like the best team in the world. All right, so I'm happy with the difficulty, but I need to calm their speed down, man. I need to calm their speed down. I don't know if this means that it takes longer for them to accelerate, but we need to calm them down a bit. They're, they're out of control, mate. They're sprinting like Usain Bolt. Anyway, join me next time where we play against QPR and Leicester. If you did enjoy today's video, please leave a like for me. Make sure you subscribe as well to this channel. It always helps when you do those things. And please make sure you check out this FIFA video. Hit the card in the middle. It'll take you straight there. I'll see you next time.